Hello and welcome to Garnsale. It's believed that four-leaf clovers bring good luck, but it depends on where you find them in the end. Many gardeners do not want clover in their own lawn in any case, so here are 10 tips on how to prevent and remove clover. Have fun! Before we get started, let's do some detective work. Why does the clover actually grow in the lawn? There are multiple reasons for that. The nitrogen content is too low. While the grass is withering due to a lack of nitrogen, the clover is thriving and flourishing. He helps himself by forming connections with bacteria that have the ability to bind nitrogen, you see. Too little or too much lime. Even the grass suffers from this. On the other hand, the clover is easygoing and spreads happily. The soil is excessively acidic. If the soil is too acidic, you can often determine this by the presence of clover varieties like sorrel in the lawn. These plants have a preference for a low pH value. The lawn is not dense enough due to its sparseness. If the grass doesn't grow thickly, it leaves room for various weeds like clover. The lawn is trimmed too short. Regular mowing of the lawn is important for promoting good growth. However, if you trim it too short, the low-growing clover species will experience improved growing conditions. Once you have all the knowledge, it becomes a piece of cake to prevent and combat clover in the lawn. Here are 10 tips for you all. Number 1. Sowing. It all begins with the sowing process. Choose a high-quality grass seed that forms a dense turf. So the clover does not have a significant chance to spread. 2. Deficiencies in hornmeal are the primary and most common cause of clover growth in the lawn. Above all, it lacks nitrogen. Hornmeal is rich in nitrogen, but it doesn't contain phosphorus like other fertilizers, which would promote clover growth. 3. Lime. Certain clover varieties have a preference for soil with an acidic pH level. That includes, for instance, the sorrel. Here, you should evenly spread lime on the lawn to balance the pH level. In another video, we already showed you what you should pay attention to when applying lawn lime. We'll link the video for you again. 4. Coffee Most clover varieties, however, prefer a soil rich in lime. You gotta lower the pH level here. Coffee is well suited, as its tannins make the soil more acidic. Plus, coffee contains a lot of nitrogen, which is an extra fertilizer for the lawn. We already showed you how to fertilize the lawn with coffee in another video, which we will link for you below in the video description. 5. The ideal length for a lawn. If the lawn is cut too short, different kinds of clover will start to spread. That primarily has an impact on the horn clover. It is considered ideal when the grass has a length between 4.5 and 5 centimeters. 6. Regular watering. If there is no rainfall, you should irrigate the lawn on your own. Because of the dryness, clover can actually handle it better than grass. 7. Boiling water. A popular home remedy for clover is boiling water. You apply this specifically to each individual plant. The heat causes the protein to coagulate and the cells burst. After a few days, you can remove the dead plant. Vinegar or salt is sometimes recommended to combat clover and other weeds but they are also harmful to the environment and should not be used. Dethatching, particularly with white clover, is a promising method for dethatching. Here, the lawn is aerated for more oxygen to reach the soil. The grass cover becomes denser while weakening the growth of clover. We have tested a few lawn scarifiers. We'll provide video links in the description for you. Especially effective against white clover is dark plastic sheeting. You just stretch it over the plant. After up to two months, the clover died due to a lack of light. You also inspect the resulting bald patches later to ensure the grass cover is closed again. 10. Extracting. If the horn or white clover has not spread too much yet, you can manually pull it out from the ground to prevent further growth and spread. In this case, the affected patch of grass is fully removed. You can fill the gap with turf or soil and overseeding. If a small amount of clover in the lawn doesn't bother you, you can simply leave the clover and regularly search for a four-leaf clover. That's how we do it on this green space of ours. 
We hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If yes, please subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. If you're a fan of written content and interested in gardening, feel free to visit our garden magazine at www.gartenzeile.de. See you later.